Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and in this video series, I'm going to show you how to build a RESTful API, uh, in other words, a full-stack JavaScript application using Node and Express. Okay, so in the last video, I gave you an overview of the project. I explained, you know, what we're building and, and uh, you know, what, what you'll be, uh, you know, learning in this course. Um, in this video, we have to get set up and make sure that we have all of the installations that we need uh, to get up and running. If you have a Mac or a Linux, um, it'll be you know pretty straightforward. Um, for for Windows, you know I, I've never installed um, you know the, the tools that we need on, on a Windows machine, but um, but I've been reading the documentation online and it seems you know pretty straightforward. You know not too crazy. So uh, anyway, I want you to uh, make sure that you have uh, you need to have uh, several things uh, um, installed in order to you know follow along in this tutorial you need to have node.js installed on your computer and uh, and also npm uh, but it only requires one installation uh, when you install node.js uh, you also get npm so so what are those two things well node.js is basically uh, the back end uh, you know javascript you know development environment um, you can go to the official website nodejs.org and it tells us, you know, what it is. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. It uses an event-driven, non-blocking I/O model that makes it lightweight and efficient. Um, and its package ecosystem, npm, is the largest ecosystem of open-source libraries in the world. Okay, so what does that basically mean? Well, it, it just really means that uh, uh, Node is really fast, and uh, and uh, it, it's it, it's uh, it, it's a development environment totally in JavaScript. And uh, trust me, it it really is fast. Uh, npm is a is basically a package manager. So in a lot of projects that you're going to build, you're never going to you know create anything like from scratch. You're always going to reuse like other people's code and and use you know popular you know um, packages and things like that. And this is where you get these packages. You get them from npmjs.com, and it's really cool. Um, they got like a lot of great packages on here, and uh, I mean. You know, many of the packages, yeah, I mean, I can't even imagine writing everything from scratch. That would be crazy. Um, and, and I mean, case in point, one of the packages that we'll be using and that, you know, we'll use for nearly every mean stack application is this, you know, uh, package right here. It's called Express. And Express makes it incredibly easy to create a web server. And, and uh, I mean, basically, it's a web framework that wraps around Node.js. Uh, this is a module that we'll be using, and I mean, doing something like this from scratch, it's like, it's like, why, why, why do it? I mean, th this is this is great. It's well documented. It's got tons of support. Um, there, 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 lots of documentations. So, so anyway, uh, with Node.js, you get this incredible uh, package manager software called npm. Um, and uh, it's really simple to install. If you go to the npmjs.com uh, website, uh, click on documentation in the top right, and um, it, it'll, it'll give you everything that you're looking for. If you see in the getting started section right here, let me blow that up for you. Um, you'll want to see, uh, you know, this, click this one, number two, installing Node.js and updating npm. Um, and just, just follow along. Um, it, it's going to, you know, give you some instructions for, for, for Mac, Linux, and Windows. Um, and, and yeah, like, like I said, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, um, downloading this stuff. Um, uh, basically it's just going to tell you to go to the download page at nojs.com and uh, click on the green button and just follow the instructions. And that's basically it. And, uh, it'll tell you to, um, you know, how to, um, you know, verify, um, you know, that you've you know, installed everything correctly. So, um, I mean, I, I'm not going to show you how to do this. This is, um, this should be pretty straightforward, but if you have any questions, you know, just leave a comment below and, uh, and I'll try to help you out uh, to the best of my ability. Okay, so um, make sure that you got Node.js uh, uh, installed on your computer, and uh, you can do that by typing in your terminal node-v, 
and you should get a uh, version number as a response. So currently I have node version 5.5.0. And then you can do the same thing with npm, npm-v. And uh, okay, I got 3.3.12. All right, so uh, once you have node and npm installed on your computer, uh, um, you're ready for the next video. So uh, okay, I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye-bye.